So today I'm not supposed to open my eyes. <laughs> today I played a game called Don't Open Your Eyes. This game was created by Via on itch.io. Now this game is free to play on the itch.io website and I found it very fun. Now warning, at the end of this video there is a bit of flashing lights and fast moving images on the screen so do be aware of that. Also to get the best experience of viewing this video please watch with headphones. Don't turn them up too loud but there isn't like really loud noises but it makes it so much fun to watch. Now before we begin make sure you subscribe and like so that I know that you like this type of video and I will continue making more videos in the summer series similar. Other than that I guess I just gotta close my eyes so here we go. Alrighty tidy. Well this is a very simple loading screen. I'm a little scared. Okay, let's just go ahead and start. Oh. oh wait, is it different for all of them or is it just for start? Oh Okay, I'm excited. Oh crickets. Dot dot dot. It's getting late. <clears throat> My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Please close that door. That is the darkest hallway ever. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. <clears throat> Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Quiet? Okay. It's quiet. That doorknob. Uh, uh. Too quiet. I feel restless. Oh, no. My sight veers towards the hallway outside of my window. How do you even see it? The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I know. Since I've made it... Since I've made an, uh, an habit... A habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. Uh oh. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into the nothingness. Like the third of a gargantuan beast. I don't think I've ever seen the word gargantuan actually written out. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But, I don't want to look at it. Well, then, so I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Oh, no. Oh, well, bye-bye. I can't tell if it's actually dark or if it's just my screen. In my room. There's a bed. In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room, what is that? A wall? <coughs> There's pictures framed on the wall. There's the door. My room is a part of myself. It's the world I know like the back of my hand. Oh, okay. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Why are you talking to me? I heard something. Stop. Dot, dot, dot. Question mark? Hold on, I'm gonna turn up the in-game audio because I don't know how loud it's gonna be. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? Oh, mm, I'm good. I think I'm good. Nope. No, stop. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Wait, well, who do you live with? Is this a kid or is this an adult? But it's getting closer. Stop. And closer. And closer. Stop. I'm putting my other ear on. And closer. 
They're gone. Oh no. Alright, there's no way someone could be there. Oh, hey, Bucko. Who is you? Uh uh. Why is he whispering at me? Open your eyes. Uh uh. Hold on, let me turn up the audio. Do I open my eyes? The game's called Don't Open Your Eyes. So. No. I don't open my eyes. Stop. Might need to turn it down a little bit. Hold on. Look at me. Mm, I'm good. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Because I don't know who the heck you are. Where are your manners? Uh. A stranger asks for help. Is it right to ignore them? In certain cases, yes. Absolutely. Yes, you little demon. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Uh uh. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I don't want to know your secret. I have never seen myself before. Why, vampire? I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't either, Bucko. I don't know if I'm even here. Well, you're sure That's talking to me. I Sounds very in distress. His like so voice is shaking. My guy. Talk about first world problems. Go find a mirror. But I'm also shy. What? You're not there. You literally just waltzed into my room. <laughs> so I might hide the moment you do. What? Dude. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget. Um Oh. Okay. Oh, you're not asleep. Oh no. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. Ew. They look so fragile. Stop looking at my ears. Look, I could almost grab them. Oh, stop. I feel something compress my ears. Oh, fingers around them. And tear them off. Oh, don't do that, please. Absolutely. I hear your voice. I don't know. You probably run away because you're shy. It was a joke. Uh, mm. I'm joking. Good. Don't be scared. Uh, I'm terrified. Thank you very much. Hey. Hi. How do you think my eyes look? My guy, I don't know. Our case is fine. Okay, is this turning into a romance? What is going on? Answer me. One of their eyes look like broken, empty, or lost. What does that even mean? He sounds broken emotionally. Broken. Oh. Well, that's nice. That might be so. To stare at what's in front of me. Oh, that's Searching good. For that one precious thing. What, my ears? It's what drives me to look inside places. Such as this. My ears. But sometimes I strain so hard. Little pieces seem to fall off my face. Oh. One after another. Making a cracking sound as they go. My guy, I think you need to stay out of the sun. I think you're a little sunburnt. Ew. This that sounds like a broken finger. In my desperation. I always attempt to piece them back together. I kneel and search for the missing fragments of myself. But they are never there. I hate this. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach. Ew. And that makes me sad. Oh my gosh, if this was real, imagine just like thinking you got hit with a leaf from the wind and then it's somebody's freaking eye. So sad. 
You're, uh, you're still there. Oh, that's good. I take it out. Oh. I take everything out. Uh, oh, stop that. Every little piece that remains. Um. Harder, furiously, and wallowing in sorrow. I pray to whoever's listening to give banquets mine. Um. To not make me lose more than I've already lost. What, your entire face now? What? Yet no one delivers. What, did you order on Amazon? Listening. I'm listening right now. So I weep invisible tears. Okay. Until I can feel the sorrow no more. My guy, you sound like Shakespeare right now. What is going on? Hi. Have you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see that you end up blinding yourself to all? Um, no. Have you? Mm, no. I remain silent. So Well, I think so. You're saying you're ripping them out of your face. So I'm gonna say yes, because the other ones I feel like didn't relate to him. Like, empty, maybe, and lost. Not really lost, because he says he keeps searching places. So I'm just gonna say yes. Good answer. Oh. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. And that is what? Open your eyes. He's gonna hide. Do I open my eyes? I don't know. I'm gonna say yes. I open my eyes. Am I blinking when I open my eyes? Is he gone? I can't see on my computer screen on the laptop. I have to look at the second monitor because it's brighter. There's nothing there. Hooray. <laughs> Uh, yes. A good answer. Yet there is only one. I'm skipping this. Open. No. So you won't look at me. No. Even though your eyes are so pretty. How would you know, Mister? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Oh yeah, that was weird. Round like pearls. Um. Shiny like jewels. So so pretty. Pearls are also shiny. Breath of cold air or caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. Sorry, my eyelashes? Still in silent. Not very silent while well, you're here. I right, hear it's Hey! What am I about to look like? Okay, is something gonna happen? Are good at closing their doors. Not me! Did this guy really just ask me what a door is? Of course you know. Thank you. You have one. Right there. At the verge of your little world. Mm-hmm. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Are you bad? The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes me. Oh well there's my answer. Okay, I'm about to give this guy a tutorial. You ready? There's this random cup from like yesterday. I had water in it. This is a door handle. Ready? Push. Should I push or pull? Fair enough. Okay. Well. I turn, the knob left or right? I turn it right. So. Should I try to take it off its inches? Mm, no. That was not part of the tutorial. When it opens, you walk on in like you already did. Do I close it behind me? Ooh, this guy is really an overthinker like me. All right. Do I keep it open? I don't know. What door are you? To, what are we referencing? A closet? In that case, yes. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Well, yeah. Then you close it if it was already closed. That's how. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? 
What door are you opening that's in the middle of like a hurricane? So many options. Um, I guess. So many things that could go wrong. Like, what, your finger gets stuck in the door? That has not happened to me yet, and I'm very glad. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Oh. Well, then that might be why you can't open the door. My bad, dude. Stare at it for a long time. Oh. And think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. Excuses for what? What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. Oh. It fills me with the need to go in. Um. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. But you're good with windows? I can't open a window for the life of me. There's a place where I can fit. And I can't go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I think I may need to call, like, a psych psychiatric hospital. I'm careful. So as to not be caught by the light. Mm. I turn search. I pick a place where to rest. Oh. I slip in. Spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. Well, you're alerting me right now. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Oh. I feel at home there. So is my room dirty? Ew. Sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. What, to rip people's ears off? To be seen. Oh. I'm asleep. As if expecting me. But you won't look at me. Yeah, no, I won't. Even though you had your door open for visitors. I didn't. Why is that? My front door is probably closed. Afraid. Absolutely. Do I scare you? You literally just said you were gonna rip off my ears and then also ripped out your eyes. No. That can't be it. Mmm. We haven't been doing anything. You have been talking a storm. Tell me your life story. You haven't chased me out. Yeah, because I'm not trying to die. You welcome me. Um, not quite. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand. Ew, stop it. I would reciprocate and grasp it. Mmm, I'm good. Stay away from my hands. I'm actually very cold in my room right now, so my hands are probably really cold. So very warm. Mm, not quite. Because people are always warm. Um. Hey. Hi. How do my hands? Your hands? My guy. Finally meets yours. How will it feel? Okay, I'm good at me. I'm good at imagining things. Deceitful. What does that even mean for a hand to look deceitful? Or tired? Um. Uh, um. Not tired because he's not even opening the doors. What does deceitful mean for a hand? I'm about to look up what deceitful means. I forgot. Oh, deceiving or misleading others. Well, I knew that. Um. I'm going to say incomplete so maybe he won't grab me. Sure. Oh. Where are half of his so joints? It's my travels. I have lost more than I can imagine. Wait, your eyes, your hands. Behind. That too. Companions, just like you are now. Please so don't kill me. No wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Um, I don't want part of your finger. I think I'm good. Yes. Farewell gifts, you could say. I don't want a gift. I'm Sounds good. Like an excuse. Mm. That's because an excuse for what? It is. Ew. Because I am careless and overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels.
feels to the touch. Um. Like the crust of a tree. Or the surface of a frozen lake. It's called the bark of a tree. And sometimes I find something else. Like what? Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. Oh, that's nice. Think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. Oh. Probably where half your hand went. For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. And the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. What? <laughs> and when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible but intoxicating feeling. Okay, I really need to call the psychiatric hospital now. Yeah, not your body. That's not nice. There's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always painful. Yeah. I'd rather they weren't. Well, mm, that kind of explains a lot because you're tearing out your eyes and your hands. Hey, Hi. Have you ever placed yourself in harm's way? Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. What? Okay, well, first off, no. So I can not feel a satisfaction that is not mine. What? Have you? I remain silent. <clears throat> oh my god. They're gonna be your hands today. Uh, I'm not going to. Because I really don't want to have to go through all this again. Um. My hands are in one piece. Thank you very much. And they wiggle around and they do not got chips off of them and like whole entire knuckles gone. I keep knocking things over in these videos. Think about it. Um Maybe you and I are similar. I don't pull out my eyes. No. I know we are. Mmm. I can feel it in my skin. Ew. No, because I literally just shivered right before you said that. Why is there a heartbeat? My skin is pulsating. It has been long since this happened. Um. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. Well, I'm telling you. I don't know if I'm right. It's not like anyone will do. Oh, there's a method to your madness. Uh -huh. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Um. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Same question. Will answer. Hmm. There's no doubt about it. Wait, if I'm not talking, how is he getting this perception? But. It might not be the answer I wish for. What's the answer you wish for? Since I don't. Wait, I thought he asked if his face was ugly. Why am I giving him his hands? His I hands are gone. Be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide. Fading into the dark. Wait, where did he hide? Because, like... But you... Might be different. Okay, stop. Stand 
sit still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. I'm fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Like you need to go away? Well, you've been speaking a lot of them. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. So what are you? You're not a person? They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, spam call. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yeah, because they have no clue what... You're trying to get them to do. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. Because you can and speak? I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. Whoops. So why is it? Why are you asking me? To recognize me so much. I'm not a therapist. Sorry. Maybe it's only because I can. Um. Sir? Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Oh. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Um. Sorry? And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Ew! And you inspect every crevice of mine. And Ew! And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Okay, he almost started talking right now. He's whispering, but you know, like, when you whisper, you sound like this. But then when you talk, like, you, you have a different tone of voice. To let me hear. Um It makes me feel but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey. Hi. What does my expression look like? I don't know. When that fill of uncertainty finally disappears. What will we convey to each other? I don't other? know. I'm gonna run away. That's what's gonna happen. It's a cheer from a smile, a surprise grimace, an emotionless stare. Um, well, from knowing what you like to do, aka tear off ears, it would be a grimace, but not surprise. Like, you say you know what I look like, and you want to know without being judged, so you're probably going to be, like, struggling. So I'm going to say emotionless stare. stare. Yes. Or a stitched up mouth. That may be so. Um. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. Mm-hmm. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. Except for your hands and your eyes. You friggin' rip it about. The way I walk. To the way I talk. My walk, I, I talk the way I how does that song go? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna look that up later. It is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow. My guy's a poet! But I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. Yep. They form connections. They experience thrills. They sure do. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. Hmm. I Jack guess. Oh. Alrighty, tidy then. I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. A perishing. My journey began long ago. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. Is that an actual word, journeyed? And in my life, I have seen others born and die. That's nice. Born and die. 
All right. A person's existence is so fleeting. Probably. Yet, so many things happen to them. Yep. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. How did we get this from an emotionless stare? Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Oh. Save Um, to a modeled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. What are you saying? Perhaps if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it, but I cannot. Well, if I had broken up hands, a stitched up mouth, and broken eyes, no matter how I try, I don't I even see know what's going on. Extension and what I am. I want for someone to tell me how I look. I'm telling you how I think you look. I don't see that as important. Well, then why are you gonna do this? You would care. So why should I care? I don't know because but that doesn't mean I don't never felt I feel things. Uh huh. Joy, sorrow, fear. Mm hmm. Oh, great. I am feeling strongly. It's here, in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is emotionless. That it shows nothing. Mm -hmm. And if you say so, it must be true. Um. But soon you will see something. Oh, no. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey. Hi. What? It's a Monday. I don't understand a word you're saying. Have you? I remain silent. This expression is this. My expression. I would say no based on what he said that he feels a lot of stuff, but like. I see. Thank you. Mm hmm. You have truly helped me tonight. Oh, wait, is that it? Wait, can't you just feel your hands and figure out? And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. Not your ears. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. My God, I'm gonna need you to stay away. I feel a connection call with the police regarding you. No. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Uh. I really don't want to go through all of this again. But I think I will. Please don't be gone. Actually, yes. Please be gone, and then I'll go to sleep. Oh my gosh. There's nothing there. I wonder why. Now I gotta go through this all again. <laughs> Auto saves. Yes. Do I open my eyes? No. Oh. I understand. Oh. No. It's fine. Um. You have still helped me by answering my questions. Mm -hmm. No one has done that for me before. Alrighty. So I have no right to ask for anything else. I mean, you do, but like, please don't. So. No. That is a lie. What? Since I stepped into this room. No, the music stopped. Please stop. You have refused to engage with me. My guy, I've literally given you your eyes, mouth, and hands. Not even once. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes is next. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. 
Ew. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? That's a lie. But not even once. Did you look at my face? I'm looking at it right here. Big and beautiful. You stayed there. Acting as if you were asleep. Yep. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. Yep. And times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. I wouldn't doubt it. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. Okay, because I was thinking, I was like, how does this guy know what I'm telling him? Okay, anyways. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. If it's the bottom, how are you going to see farther than the bottom? I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. Not quite. The same. Mm, not quite. You too. Look for what's not there. Um. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. Uh. And you too are a liar. Oh. Well. The type that shows one thing and feels another. That's what a lot of people do. But you made a mistake. I did. I know you're lying. About what? Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. How do you know? I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Oh no, oh no. He's about to kill me. They aren't mine. Well... Maybe they are yours. Hmm. I do not care. Oh. Not anymore. All right. Uh huh. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. Uh huh. And that's all you did. Didn't mean to. So now, you will open your eyes. Mm. And see me for what I truly am. I'm good. Said so, remember. I didn't say crap. You do not have a written confirmation. Thank you very much. I didn't say crap. And I knocked over the thing again. Okay. Oh no. It was those words that brought me here. I didn't say that. I was thinking so that. You have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. Okay. Um. Time, open your eyes. I'm scared. Open your eyes. Stop. He's not even making words. Do I open my eyes? I don't know if it auto saves. Yes. You had your chance. Oh no. It's not up to you anymore. Oh no. Don't open your eyes. I will. Something coils around my head. Pressure on my skull is unbearable. Oh, I hear something shatter. Ew. Tell me, my new friend. What do you see? Uh, absolutely nothing. I want to answer, but they grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... I don't know why that was so scary. Oh, peekaboo. Is that him? I close my eyes. That won't do. Stop. Open your eyes. Stop it. Open them. Open them now. What is he doing? Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Dude, it sounds like a chant. Open. He's growing now. Oh no. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore. Right? Um, I'm 
I'm comprehending your words. This is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Dude. Even though you are a liar. Uh, shut up. Leave this piece of myself here with you. Not again. I must go. Okay, did something go across the screen? I must look for the right person. Okay, either something went across the screen or I think I'm going crazy. Someone. Who can I tell can't me tell. Where I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that. When they do. What? When they do what? Well, bye. There's something in my hand. So I can think. It's what they look like. What is it? It, it feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Voice acting. David Acosta popped off. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this save, the most recent one, and say no. Had your chance. Oh, is it the same thing? No longer open my eyes. All right. Well, that was a lot at once. All right. Okay. Well, that was a fun game. Now that game took a while to record. It took about 45 minutes, but I watched a video on this game a few years ago and completely forgot about it until I saw it on the itch.io page and I got so excited I just had to play it. So regardless of the time that it took to play, it was so worth it. The link to download this game will still be in the description. Go download it. It is free to play and it helps support the creator. Just as a reminder, this is the third video out of an eight part series that is taking place through June and July. So make sure that you're checking in every Saturday at 12 p.m. CST to see a new video. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and like so I know that you like these videos and I'll continue making more. Other than that, I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever time of day is where you are, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!